you guys, Sarah Arrington back again with Deer Meat for Dinner. And today I am out here at the ranch because I am going fishing. This is a new rod, as you can see, and it's very windy out, so I hope you can hear me. But Rob's in Costa Rica, and I've been craving fish like you won't even believe. And Aria loves fish. She's actually with me on the Polaris right now. So I went to Walmart and picked up the absolute basics. Here's my receipt. I spent $69.57, including the rod and reel, everything, done. Oh, and the cows come over because they think I got food or something. <laughs> it's not food. Check this out. It's not food. It's just plastic. Oh, funny. Okay. I got these pliers. Six bucks. Okay. This rod comes with a reel and it has mono on it. Ask me what pound it is. I won't be able to tell you because I have no idea. I just got it because it already has a line on it. 25 bucks for it all, including this tackle box. As I enjoy fishing, but my experience of fishing is nowhere near Roberts. I'm not sure if there's a lot of people who do have the experience Robert has. So bear with me. If you're a beginner, you're gonna love this video. If not, then just hang along for the ride. Nope. I got Eagle Claw size two and size four. And it even says light wire panfish on it. So I'm gonna start with four, it's a smaller hook, because I really don't even know what's in this pond. I've never fished here. I don't know what to expect. So even if a small one bites, I'd rather be able to catch it than miss one. Okay, and Rob ties knots like a knot champion. I, to this day, can still not tie a knot like Robert. So what I do, <laughs> uh, okay, so what I do, I put the line through the hook, put it back up, and then I kind of hold it at the top, and you just twist your hook so that the line starts twisting as well. Then you take your open end, slide it in this big loop you just made, and then back through its own loop. And pull it tight. And Aria's not happy right now. Slide it down. Okay. Easy enough. Now, bought these bobbers for like a buck something. Super cheap. And they have a whole bunch of different sizes, so I'm gonna use like a medium one. This top depresses, you just push it down and then you see a little hook. I don't know if you all can see that. And then you put your line through the hook. If you want it to really stay, you can twist your line around the hook and then it won't slide up or down. Then I got split shot weight. This is a 32 ounce. They kind of look like a Pac-Man, if you want to think of it that way. I'm going to put the line in the Pac-Man's mouth. And you can use your teeth, which a lot of people do, or a pliers, and just crimp it shut. Just like that. Okay, so I got my bobber. Got my split shot and my hook. Now, for the bait. Also from Walmart, I got 18 night crawlers and 30 big red worms, which were like a couple bucks each. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay. That is a big worm. Pinch them in half. Don't be a girl about it. 
take your worm and just keep, yeah, they're gonna juice out. No big deal. And just keep putting it on the hook so that it's on there, but it still dangles off a little bit. Looks mighty tasty. And this thing on the top of your reel controls your drag. So if you want a lot of drag, you crank it to the right. Then it's really hard. But in this case, we don't. If you have a lot of drag, typically the fish will just break off. We just need it nice and loose so if they take off, they can run with the line. You don't want it too light because otherwise you'll never reel them in. You need some, but you just need to find the right amount. Now let's see if we can catch fish. This is why I want a bobber fish, because the baby's not happy right now, so I can take care of her while I watch my bobber at the same time. What do you got? Pine needles? I see. Yeah, can't play the rod. Okay, as you guys can see, the cows are raining in on me. And we haven't caught a bite yet. So, we're gonna move around the pond. All right, I'm gonna switch to night crawlers too. You just want like that much of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and while we wait, for those of you who have kids, these little go-go squeezes are awesome because my hands are filthy, full I of just squeeze it to and nasty. Her. And I don't even have to touch this. Okay, you guys. We've been here all afternoon. Never even had a nibble. So Ari and I are gonna go cruise around the ranch, wait until dark, and then try it again right before the sun goes down and see if they're just not eating during the day. All right, it's almost six o'clock and we just got back to the pond and it looks absolutely beautiful. So if I can't catch a fish, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna switch back to these red worms. Check that out. And guess what? We're keeping them. Why? Because Mama wants fish. Here we go. First fish in the books. Now at least I know my rig's working. <gasps> Wanna see the fish? Look at the fish. Is that a fish? Hey, fishy. She was crying because I had to let her go. <laughs> She was walking with me and she wanted to keep walking. I'm gonna take my night crawlers out and open my bag of ice. Pour it on my fish. And I hope you guys know, Rob didn't tell me what to do, didn't tell me what to get, didn't tell me where to go, didn't tell me anything. This was all, hey, let's go to Walmart get what I think we need and find a pot of fish in. So, first fish in the books. And to be honest, if I just caught him tonight, I'd be happy, but let's try for more. Guys, 
I was reeling him in so I could move my worm. And he ate it right as I was reeling, reeling him in. Awesome! This bluegill is definitely, definitely going in the Engelbat back. That's a nice size bluegill. I don't think you guys understand how excited I am right now. Two fish. That's two more than I had this morning. Okay, let's keep going. All right, you guys. I caught two panfish. And I fished most of the afternoon. But I am definitely excited about that. I'll eat the bigger one, Ari will eat the smaller one. And it'll just be a little snack, but that's okay. I have never fished that pond before, so I am super excited that I got two panfish out of the deal. My phone's at 4%, and that's what I've been filming on all day, so I just gotta head back to the house, charge it on the way home, and clean the fish at home. So I'll see you guys at the house. All right, we made it back home. We got our two bluegill. Now let's clean them. There you have it, you guys. Four fillets, cleaned and ready to cook. All right, I got some Everglades breader in a bag. I'm just gonna throw them in the bag. And bread it. No flour, no egg, nothing. All I did was put vegetable oil in this pan and I'm letting it get hot. And I'm trying to hurry because Ari is getting very tired, you guys. Aria is behind me in her high chair now because I don't want her getting hurt with hot oil. That smells so good. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day and thank you for letting us catch some fish tonight. And Lord, please watch over Rob while he's in Costa Rica and be with us, Lord. And Lord, thank you for all of our wonderful blessings and please nourish us through to our body. Forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Okay. Already had dinner while we were fishing and I didn't. So I made myself this big yummy salad. Strawberries, dried cranberries, blueberries, sunflower seeds, and strawberry walnut vinaigrette. Yum! Now let's see how Aria likes the fish. And we do not give her a lot of breaded stuff, but this is a very light breading, so I don't mind giving it to her. One up. <laughs> you guys. This is so good. Oh my gosh. It's fish. <laughs> you like it? All right, y'all. We're gonna finish eating. Then we're going to bed. It was a long, hard day of fishing for two fish. <laughs> Have a good night. We love you, and we will see you next time. We gone. <laughs>